Iga Sriantek versus Jasmine Paolini is the final of the French Open for 2024. And both players have been impressive to get to this stage. Paolini entered the tournament as a number 12 seed. We'll take on Saville in the first round. There's no problem getting through in straights. 6-3-6-4. Second round, she'd take on the lucky loser, Baptist. And after a close second set, would get through in straight. 6-4-7-6. Third round, she'd take on Andrescu, who had just beaten Kellen Skyer in the previous round. And after splitting the first two sets, Pellini ran away with a third. 6-1-3-6-6, love. In the fourth round, she'd take on Avanesian, who had taken out Zhang, the seventh seed in the previous round. And again, after splitting the first two sets, Pellini would run away with a third. 4-6-6-love-6-1 six, six, to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Pellini would take on the number four, Rabakina. Play she'd lost to in Stuttgart at the start of the Clay Court season. And after coming out strong, she had to fight to win. 6-2-4-6-6-4 to advance to her first semifinal of a major. In the semifinals, Pellini would take on Andreva, who had just beaten Sabalenka, the number two seed, in an epic. This is no problem for Pellini. In through in straights. 6-3-6-1 to advance to her first Grand Slam final. She won't take it in the tournament as the number one seed and will take on the qualifier Jean Jean in the first round. This is no problem getting through in straights. 6-1-6-2. In the second round, she'd take on Naomi Osaka, a fellow four-time Grand Slam champion who was on the comeback. And this was epic. With Fiontek taking the first and losing the second, eventually fighting back from match points down in the third. 7-6-1-6-7-5 to advance to the next round. In the third round, she'd take on Buskova. And after a close first set, Fiontek would win in straights. 6-4-6-2. In the fourth round, she'd take on Potapova, who had gotten lucky with the draw opening up. And this this was a demolition job. Sviantek winning 6-love-6-love six six love in the fastest match she'd ever won to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Sviantek would take on Von Drusova, the number five seed, a player that she had beaten every time they'd played. And this is no different with Sviantek storming out of the blocks, winning in straights, 6-love-6-2 six six to advance to the quarterfinals. In the semifinals, Sviantek would take on Goff, the number three seed, who had just beaten Jabur in the previous round. There's no problem for Sviantek getting through in straights. 6-2-6-4 six six to advance to the final. These were played two times before with Sviantek winning both meetings. However, they haven't played in a couple of years. It was an easy win for Sviantek that day, but of course, in 2024, Paolini has improved a lot, and it could be a real test for Sviantek here. Paolini's going to win this one. She needs to get everything back, like she has been doing against the last couple of opponents. She was able to force errors out of her back and on Draver in her last couple of matches, so she's got to get everything back and really be tenacious. She's also served well. She was serving really, really well against Andreva. That's going to be key if she's going to get the big upset. If she's going to win this one, she needs to be aggressive like she has been and just push Paolini around. Also, try and get off to a good start in this one as well because, of course, she's the experienced player. She's been here many times. She's never lost a Grand Slam final. Paolini never been in this stage. So if Shionze can get off to a good start, maybe take advantage of the nerves of Paolini early in the match and get off to a really good start and run away with it. Really good final. Paolini deserves to be in a final like this, but he just can't go past Fiontek at the French Open. I think she'll win in straight sets. I think the nerves will overcome Paolini, and Fiontek is not going to give her as many errors as the last two players have given her. But let me know down in the comments below who's winning the title.